we all recognize the CAPTCHA. Uh, the purpose of the CAPTCHA is to see if you are a human or software. How can you test this? You give a human user a task that is slightly too difficult for a computer. This is exactly the kind of labeling that AI scientists need. Labels of tasks that are slightly too difficult for the computer. When they realized this at Google, they have bought CAPTCHA. And since that day, we all work for Google. <laughs> Maybe you're wondering, but this thing has to test if I'm a human or software. Of course. Did you realize that most of the times you have to analyze two or three pictures? One of them is a test. The other ones are we that are working for Google like monkeys in a cage. The good thing is, if you want, you can put on your LinkedIn page tomorrow, I have trained AI software for Google, because it's true. <laughs> it's what we do. A few years ago, we had, uh, Google had another project. A few years ago, they digitalized uh, a lot of old scientific books. So you could search them digitally. Now, in these old books, sometimes the ink is a bit bad or a word was printed in, in, in the wrong way. And every now and then, the AI couldn't read it. And that's why a few years ago, they gave us these captures. So on the right, this is a test. Are you human or software? On the left, this is just a word from an old book that the AI system could not read. If we had all agreed to always type cucumber, then... <laughs> Scientific books would be much more fun these days. 